Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty by Brooke. We're going to do some tutorials today where I'm going to do on brushes, brush cases, and on brush cleaner. So first I'm going to talk about the Mary Kay brush collection. It's a $75 collection and it has one, two, three, four, has five brushes and a makeup case for them. So these are the five brushes here. They have a cheek brush, an eye brush, great for crease and blending. Then they have a double sided brush that is eyeliner and eyebrow. The fourth brush is powder. Fifth brush is color. So this means this is a full, this is a color. This is more of your crease. This is more of your crease and blending. This is your color. And these are the five brushes and then one brush. One brush is double ended again, which is eyeliner and eyebrow brush. Then also comes your case with it that you can. This is the case that comes with it. That's the case. Case. You can put your brushes on this side. This side opens and you can put makeup or more brushes, and the side opens. This is very good for travel. This is great for makeup artists. This is good for just a regular lady who wants to be doing her own makeup. And it comes like that. And then this part closes over. And that part closes over like that. So again, this is 75. Your brushes should last you four or five years more than that. If you take good care of them, I'm gonna go over brush care for these brushes and I'm going to do an eyeshadow application for you today. Um, I'm not going to go over the eyeshadow because it's not going to be MK but I'm doing it to show you the brushes and then how to uh, d clean your brushes. So I'm going to put eyelid primer on And then I'm going to start with an eyeshadow design and then I'm going to do my brush care after. Mm -hmm. So I'm just blending in my eye primer so that my makeup stays on longer and the color will stay on nicely. So I'm just going to take a color, I'm going to take a, I'm going to just, I'm going to take a berry pink color and I'm going, looks like this, up close and I'm going to apply that all over my lid and a little higher than my lid also actually. So I'm not really going to finish blending it yet, I'm just making the shape that I want. So I'm going to do that to the other eye now. And I'll blend it a bit. I'm going to grab a tissue so that I can wipe off the excess because I'm going to be doing blending. Blending is very important in taking the eye crease 
brush now to blend because it's clean right now so I can just go ahead and blend that and then I'll wipe off the excess before I dip into a new color. So this is And I'm going to grab one more color. I'm going to take a, um, I'm just going to take like a brown, a brown color and sweep it over that it's going to be not so, not so, um, pink looking. It's going to tone down this pink berry color. So I'm taking an iridescent brown light brown over it okay now I'm going to do a blue a dark navy blue And just blend that in there. So now I have dark navy blue there. I'm doing a large half of like a triangle or yeah like a, sorry a V. Doing a V shape kind of large. Just make sure it looks even and blend. When you're working with a dark powder, you want to take your brush and continually clean it off. Or when you're doing your blending, that you're not just putting too much of a dark color. Okay, let's go over brush maintenance. Brush maintenance is important. It's going to keep your brushes looking nicer longer. If you're a makeup artist, you have to clean your brushes regularly if you're using it on people. And I'm going to go over the $12 brush cleaner. Um, this is the $12 Mary Kay brush cleaner. You get a lot. It's going to last you a year, two years, maybe even more than that. And it's Again, it's 12, it's 177 milliliters, and you can, these are the two brushes that I used. I like because it, it doesn't smell bad, it has a slightly nice smell, but it doesn't take, it doesn't smell too artificial. So, I'm just going to do a little spray, and then, the good thing is if you do this, you don't have to like, Wa like wash them all the time. You do want to wash your brushes every couple weeks or in a month. You want to actually wash it with water and a brush cleaner. I can soak them for a little bit, 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Um, but this is good in between. And the spray works great. I really like this spray. I've used a lot of brush sprays in my six years of, um, over six years of doing um, makeup before. And uh, I really like it. It's extremely big. This is one of the largest bottles I've ever seen um, retail anywhere for a brush cleaner. It smells very light. It's um, it's great. I like it. I'm just do some more. So I'm gonna go over our review. The review were the Mary Kay brush set. Retail 75 with the makeup case and brush case and the brushes. I'll have to do another review using some of the other brushes but I used the eye brushes. This is... they all look like up close. And here's the case again. And this is the $12 brush cleaner. And that's a nice little set there. So if you were to get the before tax, it would be 75, 80, 75 and 12 would be 87 for that. And 
it sounds like a quite a little bit, but remembering this is this is basically a one-time deal for a couple of years. This is going to last you um, the brushes five years at least and the cleaner two years, maybe more. Cleaner doesn't really go bad. You're not putting it, you're not, it's not like a mascara where you're putting it near your eyes and it's liquid and you're opening it all the time. This one, um, it's a pump, so you're not really opening it. It's a pump spray. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful and that you got a lot of product information and even how to apply some eyeshadow. Have a great day.